Hi, Capricorn. This is a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. If you have Capricorn anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, I do want to thank you very much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. It really does help uh, grow the channel and also uh, put the message out there. We really do believe in the message of positive energy, positive karma, and really using whatever is in our lives to our highest good. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Capricorn. What is it that you would like to Capricorn to know or to be aware of this week? Thank you, Spirit. Two more cards for the sign of Capricorn. Beautiful cards coming out for you this week. One more card for a Capricorn. Oh, and I love that six. And the foundation. Okay, let's get these all straightened up here for you. And before we get into the reading, let's do the intuitive cards. And so if this is your first time tuning in, what we do each week is use our intuition, our practice using our intuition. Um, I have these ESP cards with multiple shapes on there. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I just give the cards a quick shuffle. I think that card wanted to come out. And I'll select that card and I'll look at that card. And I'll send that image out to you over the airways. And if at any time during this reading you believe you know what that card is, please write that in the comment section. And at the end of this card, we'll review. We'll see if you were able to tap into your intuition this week. The foundation, the basis of this reading is the High Priestess. The inner knowing, the inner knowledge, the inner wisdom. And coming to peace with that, coming to connect with that. And it's driven by the Five of Swords. Not letting other people's words or actions throw you off of your game. Stay true to yourself. And let's see how that plays into the rest of your reading this week, Capricorn. We start off with this beautiful chariot card. And I think was it in last week's reading you had the chariot card? And I often refer to this as the ultimate victory card. The ultimate victory card. You have won. You have won the admiration of the crowd and those that have you surrounded you your need for fairness your need for balance thought deep thought taking a step back taking a time out Moving to the future, leaving the past behind. In the past, you have been withdrawn or you haven't, you do not like to be in the spotlight or you haven't been in the spotlight. But at this time, I see you getting out and getting into the community. Um, I don't know if this you're running more errands, um, you're attending more meetings, but you're really getting out and meeting new people. Um, perhaps you're planning day trips, um, maybe thinking or considering or learning a new language. And this new 
getting out, getting, meeting people, new people coming into your lives, getting a new social circle, social network set up, doing something out of the ordinary. But whatever it is that you're doing out of the ordinary, is bringing in new opportunities, new work opportunities, new business opportunities, um, new work opening up for you, and leaving the old way of doing things behind. Time to come out of your shell, get out into the public, to generate new opportunities and new doors opening up for you. Trusting, perhaps someone has spoken some words to you that hit a nerve, that struck a core into you, or has ignited a spark in you to change things up and do things differently. And then here we have the Six of Wands, which is again, victory. Victory over stress, victory over sleepless nights. The Knight of Wands, change, passion, fire. Page of Swords, looking back, looking over our shoulders. Perhaps you have a big announcement. You have a big change that you are wanting to announce, or there's a big change in your private life, in your personal life that you're wanting to make. And you're ready for this big change. You're ready to take the leap of faith. And this leap of faith, this change that you're wanting to make is really coming from your heart. And at this time, this risk or this change may feel like it's too great that um, maybe it's causing you a little bit of a pause or it has caused you to pause. But do know this, Capricorn, that the payoff is even bigger than this risk. The payoff is worth the risk. The payoff is worth the risk. And then we have the Page of Wands. The looking back, you know, and Capricorn, you know, the past is in the past for a reason. And then the Queen of Wands, trust your intuition, trust your inner knowledge, trust your inner being. It is a gift from your ancestors. And I think that towards the end of last year, this came up quite a bit in Capricorn's reading too, about your intuition. And that's really one of the reasons why I began this intuitive card with the sign of Capricorn. Um, Capricorn, you are moving into a time. You are moving into an energy where your intuition is really guiding you. Your inner voice, your ancestors, your uh, guardian angels, um, spirit, God, the universe, what it, whatever it is that you choose to call it, whatever it is that is comfortable for you, is trying to deeply connect with you. And it is up to you to listen and to trust that inner guide, that inner voice. And I will also say that it is never too early or too late 
to learn something new. Take advantage of any learning opportunity that is coming to you. I believe that there's going to be a new, you're going, or you feel, or are wanting to learn something new, or it, maybe it was a passing thought that you would like to learn or try or experience something new. Do know that this is your inner voice, your inner guide. And this new opportunity of learning something new or this new drive to learn something new is your intuition, is your guide. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, before I let you go, let's go ahead and see if you are able to tap into your intuition. And did you pick the squiggly lines or the waves or the ocean? Maybe all you did was picture the ocean. You're like, I don't know, I just keep thinking about water. If you even thought of a drop of water or uh, were thinking of water, do know that that was your intuition. You are tapping in and using your intuition. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you, Capricorn. You have a blessed week.